wait a minute. You want to see professional wrestling? Well, don't touch that dial because Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling is next, and it's wrestling the way it used to be and the way you like it. And welcome, Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling, the most exciting 30 minutes of professional wrestling is on the air. I'm your host, my name's Dean Hill, and I'm here again this week and proud to have Les Thatcher. Thanks for coming back. Hey, Dean, it's always a pleasure. I enjoyed myself so much last week. I wanted to come back for more Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling. A great lineup today. We've got uh, Jeb and Otter on the card, uh, Conway's with us, Flash and Trash. A great array of stars and a lot of big surprises, right, Dean? We got some surprises coming your way, including some information about the, the NWA, that's the Re National Wrestling Alliance. Also, we've got another surprise for you. A man that's a well known here in professional wrestling through the Mid South is bringing Music City Wrestling here into the Louisville, Kentucky, Southern Indiana area, back at Louisville Gardens uh, on Tuesday nights, and we're very pleased to have him with us. He's making his way up here right now. I'm talking about Burt Prentice. Burt, I understand Music City Wrestling's coming back to the Gardens. You know, we're back and live at the Louisville Gardens every Tuesday night. We really want to say thank you to Louisville for all the support and thanks to Ohio Valley Wrestling. Tell us about some of the, the talent you're bringing back into the Louisville area. Well, you know, Wolfie D is back. The Colorado Kid is back. Stephen Dunn, Reno Riggins, Lady Wrestlers, Midgets. We have everybody. A lot of the old ones, a lot of the new. Bringing the tradition back to Louisville every Tuesday night. Let me tell you what an honor it is here for me to be here tonight with you and especially Les Thatcher. But you and I go back into the late 80s. But I tell you what, it's so great to see homegrown wrestling here in Louisville, Kentucky. Danny Davis is doing an incredible job, and I love it. Well, it's, it's a great treat for us. Uh, and now, your bell time is going to be 730, Louisville Gardens, every Tuesday night, just like the tradition we had for years, right? Every Tuesday night. It's safe to come back down to the Louisville Gardens. Ladies and gentlemen, Bert Prentice says it's true. It's true. Uh, Bert, thanks for being with us. Uh, Les, now, we mentioned that Ohio Valley has been uh, accepted into the National Wrestling Alliance, the NWA, ladies and gentlemen, what that means is if you see the NWA logo on something, it's like seeing the good housekeeping seal of approval on a product. That means a lot. Tell us about the tradition of it, Les. Well, of course, the NWA is the oldest organization in professional wrestling worldwide. And in conjunction with that, when you talk about great tag teams, and of course, we talk about these Southern Tag Southern Team belts. belts right here, tonight in the house, we have got five time. NWA World Tag Team Champions, I'm excited. Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express. And hey, these guys rewrote the book on tag team wrestling and talking about these belts and the tournament. Nick Densmore and Rob Conway, Trailer Park and Rip Rogers. They're, they're in the finals. Hey, please. that's right. They better be looking over their shoulder we, because of Rock and Roller on the scene, brother. You've got tag team wrestling at its finest. That's right. This is the kind of professional wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, that you grew up with. No obscene language here in the Ohio Valley. No uh, extreme violence. This is great professional wrestling, a great family show. That's what we're bringing to your house. And we mentioned to you that the uh, uh, the tournament that we've had here for the uh, Southern Tag Team titles, that uh, Nick Dinsmore, Rob Conway are going to be taking on Trailer Park Trash and Rip Rogers in the near future right here on television to see who's going to have the opportunity to wear these belts. But less right now, we got great tag team action in the ring. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first from Gasoline Alley, the Shade Tree Mechanic, Vito Andretti, and his tag team partner from Evansville, Indiana, the most handsome man in wrestling, Jason Lee, and their opponents from Hawk Collar, Kentucky, Jebediah Blackhawk, and Cousin Otter. Jebediah Blackhawk and Cousin Otter, a couple of good old boys from Hawk Holler, Kentucky, taking on uh, the Shade Tree Mechanic, Vito Andretti, and uh, his partner, the most handsome man, or self-proclaimed most handsome man in professional wrestling, Jason Lee. Robert Briscoe is your uh, referee. I'm sitting here with Les Thatcher right now. Les, oh, look at the hip toss takedown from Jebediah Blackhawk to start things off. You know, uh, Dean, I was really impressed with Jeb and Otter last week. 
Uh, these guys are big, but they're mobile. And I think that's a devastating combination, that size, that weight, and their mobility make them a tough tag team combination. Does an otter tagging in, drops the big elbow, working on Jason Lee's left arm. Jason flipping down to the ground, and Otter dropping that right leg across it. Otter puts him in that headlock and works his way out of it. I tell you, Jebediah, Jebediah and cousin Otter are learning to work as a good tag team. Les, isn't that what you want to do? You want to work your way in and out real quick. Isn't absolutely, that absolutely. You want to be able to read your partner. You don't want to have to talk about it. a look. It should all, it should all, it should take. And these guys, I think, get a little better well-oiled. Dean, each outing. And, of course, there's a lot of great tag team wrestling here in the Ohio Valley. We're very pleased with the amount of tag teams we have here. Uh, uh, Nick Dinsmore and Rob Conway. Uh, uh, Jason Lee right now tag teaming with Vito Andretti. Of course, uh, Trailer Park Trash and Rip Rogers think that they're going to wear these southern uh, tag team uh, belts around their waist. We're uh, waiting to find out what's going to happen about, uh, about these tag tournaments here on TV in the weeks to come. Cousin Otter working his way in on Jason Lee, pokes him in the eye, clubs him across the back, and here comes Andretti. Yes, uh, Vito, I think, is the anchor on the team of uh, Jason Lee and uh, Andretti. Got more power, got more size, but Cousin and Jeb were able to cut him off. Chunk slam! Hey! Watch out, it. Les. Watch out. Here comes Cousin Otter. If he climbs the rope, it's the Hulk Holler splash coming. It looks like it, Les. Watch this. This Wow. That's it. Yeah, we Jebediah, Blackhawk, and Cousin Otter, uh, just two of the great, great wrestlers we have here in the Ohio Valley that have been trained here at Davis Arena. You know, uh, Les, uh, one of the uh, great people in professional wrestling, a guy that you know very well, Jim Cornette. Yes. Uh, Jim had some comments about the Danny Davis School of Professional Wrestling. Let's go to Jim right now to listen to his comments. Jim Cornette, if you want to learn to be a professional wrestler, if you think you've got what it takes, then I know the place to go. The Danny Davis School of Professional Wrestling right here in Jeffersonville, Indiana. It's affiliated with Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling. You can learn the right way to be a professional wrestler. You can learn whether you've got what it takes to make the big money, and most of all, you can find out whether you've got what it takes to match wits with the Louisville Slugger. So that's all you've got to do is just call the number at the bottom of your screen. The Danny Davis School of Professional Wrestling. Learn from the best. Listen to Jim Cornette, ladies and gentlemen. He's telling you the truth. Give Danny Davis a call here at 280-7039 about being trained by a true professional. Speaking of, of a training center, Les, I understand that you have a training school in, is it Cincinnati? Tell exactly, us about it. Exactly, Dean. Yes, uh, Les Thatcher's Main Event Pro Wrestling Camp. We're located in uh, the Evendale section of Cincinnati. And very simply, if you uh, are interested, give us a call, 513-771-1650. I would say that our basic program is the same as Danny Davis's. We both come from the same traditional background. And although, there, you know, there's a varying styles, the hardcore style, the lucha style, uh, in, in professional wrestling today, everything still stems from the basics, and you have to learn the basics and learn them well to become a top pro in this day and age, Dean. What, what was that phone number again in the Cincinnati area? 513-771-1650. Here in the Louisville, Kentucky, Southern Jeffersonville, Indiana area, call us at Davis Arena, 280-7039. we got some great single action coming your way. Faye Davis, take it away. This match is one full with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first from Louisville, Kentucky, the newest sensation in wrestling, Mike Sensation, and his opponent from Pittsburgh, PA, the Iron Man, Rob Conway. The Iron Man, Rob Conway in the black trunks, one of the fan favorites out of here. Uh, Joe Wheeler from calling for the bell. We've located it, got it underway. Of course, Rob Conway is going against a man that considers himself the newest sensation in professional wrestling, Les Mike Sensation. You know, I'm watching Mike doing that uh, front double by, but looking at Rob Conway, Mike better hide. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a man who knows how to shoot one. I was impressed with this young guy uh, the last time I got a look at him. Conway, you know, I keep talking about the package, Dean, and you need that. You need speed. You need the talent. You need a good head on your shoulders and good physical condition and cardiovascular training. This young man has got that, and I think he and Densmore are a tough, tough tag combination, and they're gonna have to be considered 
a tough, tough team to beat in that finals for these Southern Tag Belts. That's true. We're looking forward to that in the weeks to come. Right now, Conway, half toss takedown. He's manhandling Mike. Since there's a new sensation for you, Mike. There's a little bit of pain for you. He's hooked him up in the headlock right now. Of course, Conway comes to us from a bodybuilding background, but he's learned a lot of good professional wrestling here in the Ohio Valley, especially since he's been tagged up with his tag team partner, Nick Densmore, working the headlock right now. Joe Wheeler keeping an eye on things. You know, for years at misconception that a bodybuilder was muscle-bound and couldn't move, and Rob Conway showing you that's not true. Here's a guy that's in tremendous condition, and he moves well. Sensation trying to get something together offensively. Cannot do it. Beautiful power slam by Conway. And Dean, I think he's going to put him away now. And if he doesn't, I'm missing my guess. That's the maneuver he makes when he's ready to put his big move on here. This very well could be it for Sensation. Putting him up in the rack. They got him there. Joe Wheeler says it's a submission. Your winner. The Iron Man, Rob Conway, taking the single action here, ladies and gentlemen. A great, great night for us. What great fans we have here in the Ohio Valley. Listen, we're here every Sunday night at Davis Arena, 1121 Mechanic Street in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Every Sunday night at 7 o'clock for our regular show. Every Wednesday night for our TV taping. Come be part of our TV family, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, bring your signs, bring your children, because this is the kind of professional wrestling that you grew up with, and we're very, very proud to be bringing it back into your area. We've uh, had some other questions we'd like to answer right now. Uh, we've had people ask, could we rent Davis Arena for one of our get-togethers? Yes, you can. You can rent this arena. Uh, also, we'd like to mention to the sponsors, those of you that are considering sponsoring Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling, uh, we got a lot of space out here for your business logo, your telephone numbers. Give us a call at 280-7039 for more more information about it. Uh, also, Les, uh, we're very proud. Tell them about uh, the NWA now uh, acknowledging our existence. That's right. Ohio Valley Wrestling is a part of the NWA. And if you really don't know, you know, you heard from Jim Cornette earlier, but if you happen to turn on WWF Raw, you're going to hear about the NWA there as well because Jim Cornette is spearheading the resurrection of the NWA on WWF soil. So. As I said, the NWA, the oldest governing body in our sport and certainly one of the most traditional. And one of the things I love about Ohio Valley, you've got a mixture of the young guys like Conway on his way up, great conditioning, and you've got a guy, a veteran like Rip Rogers, who, uh, my gosh, he, he forgot more at lunch today than some of these young guys will ever know. But that combination makes for great competition. Well, we're very proud to have that kind of a combination here in the Ohio Valley. And speaking of the NWA, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the ring because waiting there is none other than the five-time NWA Tag Team Champions. The Rock and Roll Express are in the house. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with TV time remaining. Introducing first the man who hails from everywhere that calls his house his mobile, Trailer Park Trash, and his tag team partner from Indianapolis, Indiana, Flash Flanagan. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you their opponents from Nashville, Tennessee, Ricky Martin, and Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express. Listen to the crowd screaming for Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express. You see NWA across the back of the tights when you get a shot there. That acknowledges the National Wrestling Alliance. These two young men have been a staple in professional wrestling for a lot of years. They're in right now against Trailer Park Trash and Flash Flanagan. Exactly. You know, I watched Ricky and Robert grow. Uh, when they used to come to the matches with the families, to what they are today, two of the greatest tag team wrestlers uh, of anybody's generation. And I'll tell you right now, I think two of the finest young up and coming stars would be Trailer Park Trash and Flash Flanagan. But as my old friend Ric Flair says, they're going to school here today because Ricky and Robert are gonna be the teachers. And Robert Gibson laid flash and trash out here about five times in a row. Arm drag after arm rack. Listen to the crowd here at Davis Arena. A great crowd. Look at this move from the Rock and Roll Express. Knee lift by Ricky Morton, a patented one as I may say. I've seen him deliver that to the chin of a lot of professional wrestlers. Oh yes sir, you talk about teamwork. These guys personify that. And you know, uh, they've been around a long time. This is a team that amazes me, Dean, because they have held onto their pocket. 
Oh, ho, ho. What a maneuver. Go ahead, Les. The action they, is so loud in the ring. These guys have held on to their popularity for such a long, long period of time. And not unlike Nolan Ryan, they may have lost a little bit on their fastball, but they've got such a great knowledge stored between their ears that you got to get up early in the morning. I don't care how young you are, how fast you are, to beat these guys at tag team wrestling. Look at this maneuver from, oh, ho, ho. Rock and Roll Express, Trader Park Trash thought he was going to outsmart him for a few minutes, turned his head and made a mistake. Look at Ricky Morton. Oh, and Trader Park that time saw it coming and planted one on the forehead of Ricky Morton. And Flash Flanagan, tra Trash has been tagged in by the Flash Man, and he starts to work on the back of Ricky Morton. Sets him up for the ride across the ring. He's trying to make the tag with his partner, Robert Gibson. Couldn't quite get there. Right now, Trash is trying for a quick cover, but you've got to do a lot more than that to the Rock and Roll Express to get a victory this quick in a match. I'll tell you what, good move on Flanagan's part. He knew he needed to tag out. He got out of there. Trailer Park's picked up the rhythm. They're on offense now. The whole idea here is that mythical line across the center of that ring. In tag team wrestling, Dean, you keep your opponent on your side of that invisible line and maintain offense. Keeping him in your corner, keeping him in your court, so to speak. Exactly, exactly. I see what you mean. Flash Flanagan sets a more. Oh, look at this power slam. Man, what a power slam from the Flash man. One, two, Briscoe gets up to the two. Morton kicking out. Flanagan, impressively young wrestler, you know, he's met some of the best in the WWF, the WCW, and other federations around the world and the country. But the young man, he gets better with each and every outing. And of course, he's gonna have to hone his skills here tonight if he and Trash are gonna come out victorious over Ricky and Robert. Ricky right now tries, throws Flash towards Robert, tries to work his way over to his partner in the corner but wasn't quite able to get there. Flash Flanagan lays him out with a clothesline, tagging in Trailer Park, down on him for the cover. Again, I don't think Ricky is, no, no, Ricky was not down and uh, was not beat up enough to actually uh, lose the fall at this early stage. Robert's trying to give him some momentum over there in the corner, and Robert Briscoe, the referee, keeping an eye on this uh, this headlock. Of course, now the concern right here, Les, is, is what, cutting off the, the, the blood flow and the oxygen to the brain, right? Exactly. You know, once you've cut the oxygen off to the brain, the brain doesn't function well, and your, your opponent has become disoriented. He's not going to be able to think properly. The whole That's, body slows down. There you go, exactly. Nice DDT off that rope by Trailer. And you know, these, like I say, the young wrestlers here in Ohio Valley are impressive because they learn from the veterans. They don't come in here thinking they know it all. They're willing to take a, uh, you know, take a refresher course each time out. But Ricky and Robert, as I said, they have rewritten uh, the tag team uh, wrestling books. And so if Flash and Trailer Park can beat these guys, brother, they're on their way up. Well, to say, I'd like to say from the beginning, the Davis Arena here at Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling is the place where the rookies meet the pros, and this is a perfect example of it. A couple of young guns in the business, Flash Flanagan and Trailer Park taking on a couple of great professionals in the Rock and Roll Express. Trailer Park with the fist to the stomach. Watch Ricky Morton. Watch him reach for that corner. Instinctively, Dean. Even if he's been battered around, even if he's lost his sense of direction, that hand is out and he can he listen to Robert's voice and it's like radar. He's going to try and hone in on that corner. Good move. Ricky picked up the rhythm of Trailer Park Trash, was able to get out of harm's way. Now he needs to make that tag. Basically, Ricky may not even have an idea where he's at in the ring. You're saying he just, it's just instinct. instinct. That hand exactly. goes out instinctively. Oh, great Ex information. Uh, Robert, oh. Robert trying to make his way in right now, but of course Robert Briscoe, as, as he's back turned to what's going on in the ring, because he's got to put Robert Gibson back out of the ring, and the Flash Flanagan and Trailer Park Trash took an opportunity to uh, double team Ricky, and now, while Briscoe is distracted again, Flash Flanagan taking an opportunity to try to keep wearing down Ricky Morton. That, working with the uh, the rope across the throat, just another again, tactic. Cutting that oxygen left. off, exactly. And of course, Flash and Trash are smart enough to realize who they're in that ring against. And they realize every second they can maintain that offense, they have got a chance of winning this one, Dean. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. You got to look at these young guys with some admiration. They're hanging tough against two seasoned veterans. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you're sitting at home right now and you're thinking, this is great professional wrestling. You don't hear any obscene language here. You don't see any extreme violence. This is the kind of professional wrestling you grew up with, ladies and gentlemen. We're very, very proud for the Ohio Valley to be the type of organization to bring it into your homes here every week. Rock and Roll Express. Now, Flash Flanagan, young and losing a little of his direction here, trying to 
thinks he's got his man in position, making faces, trying to posture with Robert Gibson. Bad move, look at Ricky on the reversal. Reverse atomic drop, and let's see if he can make that tag. Flash needs to get out of here now too. He needs to tag his partner. They need a fresh head of steam here. Robert trying to get the crowd to get a little momentum into Ricky right now. Chandler Parks running in, he's choking him. Briscoe trying to get him to break up from uh, being underneath of the ring ropes. Trailer Park trash, scoop slam, and blasts Ricky Morton here in the ring. He may be going up for the trailer jack. That's uh, where he likes to drop that big leg off the top rope. There you go. That's the jack. Nobody's home. Ricky Morton getting out of the way at the last second. Trailer Park trash. Better hope he had his wallet in that pocket. So yeah, there save you go. Him. He gave Morton too much time to regroup, to pull a little bit back, and gain a little. Here you go. Tag. Yes, sir. Robert Gibson in the driver's seat. Watch him go, and this is what makes rock and roll dangerous. Robert's gonna get that offensive advantage back for his team. Trash and Flash in trouble. All right, watch the double teaming here, Dean. Here's why these guys five-time NWA World Tag Champions. Meeting of the minds. Trash and Flash landing, and a double drop kick from the Rock and Roll Express could be it. That's it. Your winners, Ricky Martin. The Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, you can't tell how excited we are to have him here in the Ohio Valley Wrestling Association. They are still a great tag team after all these years. Yes, sir, they certainly are. And like I say, if they've lost a step in the leg, they have gained a step between the ears, and that makes them tough. They indeed are going to be a force to be reckoned with in Ohio Valley Wrestling, Dean. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, we want to remind you, in the weeks to come, the Southern Tag Titles, you see these things setting here. They're setting here for a reason, because we are proud, ladies and gentlemen, to have the Southern Tag Titles here in the Ohio Valley Wrestling Association. And the final tourney match is going to be coming up here on TV in just a few weeks. Right now, we got the Ohio Valley Heavyweight Champion in the ring with Nick Dinsmore going to get him. Faye Davis, take it away. This match is one full with TV time remaining. Introducing first from Seymour, Indiana, the Ohio Valley Heavyweight Champion, Hustler Rip Rogers. And his opponent from Jeffersonville, Indiana, Nick Dinsmore. Nick Dinsmore, fan favorite here in the Ohio Valley. Uh, two-sport all-star from Providence High School here in the Southern Indiana area, has a great following here in Southern Indiana, taking on another man that claims Indiana as his own, Seymour Indiana's own, the hustler, Rip Rogers. Uh, give us a little idea about the, the background of Rip Rogers, Les. I know you've known him for a lot oh, of yeah, years. yeah, the hustler's been around. And you know, a lot of people say, Rip Rogers is this, he's cocky, he's arrogant. He's Rip Rogers is a smart, smart man, Rip Rogers. Postures. Rip Rogers will talk trash. Rip Rogers will try to get you out of your game. Wait, who was the guy I just saw walking? Oh, is that Kenny Bowen again? Ladies and gentlemen, you may not be able to see it from your uh, your camera vantage point, but we have uh, wrestling manager. Kenneth Bolin, he's standing over here by our concession stand right now. Unless it appears like he's maybe taking some notes, maybe he's looking at some talent here in the area. You and I both know about Kenny Bolin and where he shows up, he's up to no good, but I can't imagine what he's doing here. He doesn't manage anybody in Ohio Valley, does he? He's, I know he's, uh, I know he's a personal friend of Jim Cornette's. I'm not sure if Jim has him down here uh, monitoring talent or what, but he's definitely here in the Ohio Valley. Let's get back into the ring right now. Right. Nick Densmore with a great move on the hustler, Rip Rogers, dropping that leg down. Joe Wheeler keeping an eye on things. And you know this is what makes for a great match. Densmore against Rogers. Youth, exuberance, ready to learn, has that hard drive, that youthful uh, exuberance. Rip Rogers, a veteran. He knows all the moves. He's one step ahead of you in his mind. Still in great condition, and he is the champion. Realize this, Densmore has to beat him. Rip doesn't have to beat anybody, so he can sit back, wait for Nick to make a mistake. We also need to mention this is not a title match. The belt is not on the line in this match. Oh, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a cue over here from, uh, from the table side. Uh, um, Les, I've been corrected here at, uh, at the side of me. This is, in fact, a title match. The belt is on the line. 
I apologize for my mistake. Rip Rogers is currently got the uh, currently got the belt around him, and Nick Dinsmore, winning the battle royal that we had here last week, right. gets the title shot. I was just unaware that it was tonight. So indeed, then. Rodgers is in that position to sit back and make the young man come to him, make the young man come out there and hopefully make a mistake. And believe me, Rip is veteran enough, quick enough to, to see a small mistake turn into a capital win for the champion. The drop kick from Dinsmore right now. He's rubbing his way with the, the champion. The belt may be in jeopardy. Three drop kicks in a row from Dinsmore. Got the cover. One, two, and look, like you said, Rip Rogers knows every little trick in the book, every little stretch of the rules, and he got that foot right on that bottom rope. And you know, a good professional wrestler knows where he's at in that ring if his eyes are closed, Dean, and Rip Rogers knew exactly where those ropes were. Now, a lot of people say that's cheating, that's it's smart wrestling. You're in there to win. Of course, you know, if you can do that without cutting the corners, but Rip was able to get the leg over, saved himself the pin. And right now he's back up. It's a neutral starting position. Rip in the driver's seat trying to build an offense. Working on the show of strength there for a few minutes. Rip Rogers taking advantage of it. And of course pulling Dinsmore out by the hair. You see what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Wheeler sees what's happening. He's reprimanding. Uh, oh, here goes Kenneth Bowen again across the front of the TV desk. He's uh, working his way over here by the photo table. You may be able to see him. He's dressed in the black jacket and the black pants, uh, standing there with a legal pad, ladies and gentlemen, keeping an eye on uh, some of the talent we have here in the Ohio Valley. Since we've been uh, accepted into the National Wrestling Alliance, we're getting a lot of attention from a lot of people. Last certainly week. are, and of course, uh, having a team the caliber of the Rock and Roll Express on the Ohio Valley TV is is certainly a feather in their cap, Dean. Plus, we had a great article written about us in uh, the Courier Journal uh, not too long ago. Front page, as yeah, a matter of fact, uh, a very very good article. We are uh, very very pleased for that. Rip Rogers, a couple of uh, attempted pins, got a two count from Joe Wheeler, and that's as far as he can go. You hear the crowd go, Nick, go. They love Dinsmore here in the Ohio Valley. Set him up for the ride across the ring, reversed. Plants Rogers into the turnbuckle, fouls him with the clothesline. I was afraid that might have been too much of a hesitation for Densmore, but he was able to get that clothesline in. Nice forearm. He's tied up. Yes, Rip is hooked in those robes, and now Nick has him at his mercy. Let's see if he's going to take advantage of it, Dean. He needs to try to put him away here. Big backdrop. The title is on the line. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I was corrected. This is a title match, too. Dinsmore desperately wants this heavyweight title. A young gun nice. getting a shot. Oh, oh man, I thought that was going to be Pretty it. German suplex, but Rip kicks out. Dinsmore scoop with a nice slam. Again, Nick's going topside. High risk maneuver here, Dean. He's used to having his partner Rob Conway out here to make this into the rocket launcher. Right now, this is a Rogers lifts the knee, plants it into the gut of Dinsmore, and Dinsmore is in the front row and in pain. So subtle and yet so effective. Rip saw him coming. Again, the veteran knew where he was at, where his opponent was at. All he had to do was raise that knee, and the wind went out of Dinsmore's sails uh, like the squall had stopped and the sails dropped. Yep. Look, Bowen's making a note about it. Oh, Joe Wheeler calling for the bell. Your winner, the Rip hustler, Jelly Rip Rogers. Apparently the count out, Rip Rogers keeps the Ohio Valley heavyweight title. Joe Wheeler counts Nick Dinsmore out. He's still out here in pain at ringside. He lands on the knee of hustler Rip Rogers. We've had a lot of great action today. Oh, we sure uh, have. Now, now, Rip says he beat him. No, he outsmarted him, Dean, but he hardly beat him, but he got his hand out. He count on that title. Jebediah, great action today. Jebediah and Cousin Otter won. Uh, Conway won. The Rock and Roll Express. We're very, very pleased that they were in the house last. Oh, that, yes, listen. These guys are still a great team, and they ex uh, exemplify what the NWA is about and, of course, what Ohio Valley is about, Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here every week. Be a part of our Wednesday night TV taping at 7 o'clock and Sunday night for the show. For Les Thatcher, I'm Dean Hill from the heart of the Ohio Valley. We'll see you at ringside.